Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Antika Rasava reporting from the heart of the Greek capital and here's what's happening. He was arrested, arraigned and acquitted last year for violating privacy rules in publishing the controversial Lagarde list of some 2,000 Greeks with accounts in Switzerland. Kostas Vaksevanis, the journalist and publisher of Hot Dog magazine, is back in the dock here again today facing the exact same charges because a prosecutor soon after after his acquittal said that the case had legal flaws and therefore had to be tried again. Vaksivanis faces up to a year in jail and some 30,000 euros in fines if convicted for publishing the so-called Lagarde list. Vaksivanis also remains defiant, however. He says none of the 2,059 uh, names of these holders in these Swiss bank accounts have uh, approached him or have even lodged defamation charges against him. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, if convicted, Vaksivanis says that he will uh, serve out the jail sentence in a bid to alarm his fellow Greeks and compatriots that Greek that democracy here is in peril. Now the Lagarde list was used by several European uh, states to crack down on tax evasion and bring in added resources and funds to the states there. It was given to the Greeks by the French authorities in 20 then but rather than pursue this list of suspected tax cheats uh, the authorities kept it as a well guarded uh, secret. In fact, George Papa Constantino, the former finance minister who took delivery of this list, has been accused of tampering with it, erasing three names, relatives of his, from this uh, list. Now, since then, Yanis Sturnaris, the finance minister, has done absolutely nothing to bring in a dime from the suspected tax cheats. In fact, he just recently ordered related investigations to be moved from a special auditing unit uh, in central Athens to local tax offices that clearly lack the expertise and the resources to deal with such a specialized task. So rather than expose these cases further, Mr. Sturnaras is hiding them deeper into the depths of Greek bureaucracy. It's remarkable if you think about it. These politicians who uh, have done nothing actually to expose this scandal and to expose these tax cheats are facing no prosecution whatsoever and are um, in their posts while the journalist who has exposed this scandal is standing yet again in the dock today on trial. We'll be seeing how this trial develops. Join us here again on Monday.